All right, so today we're going to be looking at some Kohler ignition coils or ignition modules. And uh, what it is is I am working on a Kohler engine right now that's got two cylinders. So there's an ignition coil on each cylinder. And one of those went bad, so I'm going to replace both of them right away. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip out my multimeter here, and I'm going to, I'm going to test the resistance on these modules. And what I did before I got started, I found this chart. I got this chart from a service manual that I have on my computer, but I also found it on the internet. And what it shows is it has the ignition modules that I'm replacing and the ignition module that I'm replacing it with. Um, so the ignition modules that I'm replacing are these smaller ones. They've got two metal tabs on top. And there's no number on this that I could really track down, but... Um, that is the module that we're looking at, and this is the the uh, um, ranges that we're looking to to meet as far as whether or not that's a good or a bad coil. The new coil from Kohler is the 245836S, and what I'm going to do is to test that one as well. And you see, there's a bit of a difference. And the size of the two coils but the holes line up and I'm thinking that these are gonna work pretty good so let's uh, um, well before I should let me show you here um, for this particular one that would be this one here's the number we just read off and this is the column we're looking at for resistance and ranges so to get started I'm gonna set my my ohmmeter my multimeter up and we're gonna put it on ohms and resistance right here and I'm going to select auto we've got auto there in the corner and um, get my test leads here and we're going to test this this one here first and um, let me show you what the paperwork says now the first test is going to be from one to four. What that means is it's going to be that number one tab to four, which is the hole where the screw goes that holds the ignition onto the engine. Then the second test is going to be from two to four, which is that second tab to the hole. And the third test is going to be from three to four, which is actually the spark plug boot to that same hole. So let's, uh, let's get started and we're looking at these numbers here so we're going to take a lead here we'll put one in the in the hole right there and let's do the first test which is this tab see if we can see that readout all right so the multimeter is saying 993 and let me get back on the camera here 993 definitely falls within the parameters of this setting, uh, this uh, numbers of 945 to 1175. Now, with the black lead in the same hole here, let's touch the other tab. And we're getting a reading over there on the multimeter of 150. Again, we're within range because here the range is supposed to be between 149 and 166, so we're good to go. And the last one is the actual spark plug boot. So let's put the probe in there and make sure it's making good contact. And the range we're looking for here is between 3750 and 7000. And we're getting... 4,150 was 4.15 kilo ohms, which converted to ohms is 4,150. So we're within range on this one. So this is actually a good coil. So let's test the other coil. Same way. We'll touch the little tab. 
and we've got 991 so that's good second tab 148.6 almost 149 so that's good and the last one we'll do the spark plug boot and then and we have got nothing so this is a bad coil all right now i know which one of those is bad which one of those is good let's test a new one and we're going to be looking at the new numbers here so again we still have it on automatic and it seems to be giving me the kilo kilo ohms but we'll put this in the hole and touch the first tab 596 this says 590 to 616 so 596 is good Let's connect touch the big tab 187 okay 183 to 208 so that's good the last test put it in the spark plug boot And we're looking at 13.5 kilo ohms, which when converted is 13,000 regular ohms. So range of 8,000 to 40,000, we're well within that range. So this is a good coil. Let's test the other one right away. All right, 596, which is within the proper range for the little tab. Go to the big tab, 193 roughly. Again, that's well within the range. And the last one is the spark plug boot itself. Fourteen point three ish 14.3736, so kilo ohms, convert that to regular ohms, that's 14,000. So once again, we're within a range of 8,000 to 40,000, and so I am calling this one good. So that makes me feel better that I have two functioning coils to put back in the lawn tractor, and um, I'm sure that everything is going to work out good. <laughs> so... Um, that is how you test Kohler ignition module, ignition coil, and um, I hope you learned something today, and um, thanks for watching.